Okay, just buying the solar panels here. So they had those stupid MC4 connectors on them, which are just a nightmare because they're all different and none of them fit each other. So I just uh, cut them straight off. I'm just going to solder them because it's better anyway. Uh, just got to run my cable in down through there to the house, and then I connect them up, connect everything up in the house, and then come back, solder them up on here. All right, run the cables down to the house. They just go down down there through the woods. Uh, I'm gonna have to bury this bit for sure because otherwise I'll end up running over it with a raw mower or something. So that can just go in a fairly shallow shallow trench there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go and hook everything up in the house. Uh, then I can solder this up. Or maybe I'll do this first. Yeah, I'll do this first. And then I'll go and hook stuff up in the house. So I just got the uh, soldering iron running off the car. And I've only got a plumbing solder, so I'm not very well equipped, but that's pretty much normal for me. So just using plumbing stuff, so just put some flux on the uh, connections. I've got some uh, shrink tube on there, so done one already. So that's the plus going to the minus uh, to, um, to make a series connection, give me about 80 volts. So I get positive, negative, hooked up, soldered, shrink tube, and then we'll go down to the house and connect it. Okay, got them all soldered up, shrink tube, I just need to melt it down, I need to go and grab a lighter. See, they're all nicely done. Much better than those stupid connections. First of all, one of them just snapped off in my hand, and they're not even compatible. The two solar panels have got different connectors, so it's just ridiculous. So yeah, we're gonna go down to the house and hook it up. Okay, we've got our cables coming in through the wall. So here is going to be like a, a box with all the water and the power and all that kind of stuff in it. So that's where the battery's going to live. So I'm going to mount my charge control on the wall here. And then I'm going to run a separate little cable for a separate little meter, like here or something, so I can view the ampage easily without going into the little cupboard. So I've just got to move the batteries over to where they're going to be and hook it up. Uh, it's not that interesting, so I'll just, uh, I'll just show you what I've done. So there we go. Hooked up. It's uh, it's not very sunny anymore, but I've got uh, 1.6 amps coming in, uh, 60 volts. Uh, so 0.7 of an amp at 60 volts, 1.7 amps at 25.3. So all working. Uh, get the batteries charged up a little bit. Hopefully the sun comes out a little bit, and uh, see if uh, see if this works all right. So just gonna hook up the little inverter. And um, I just need to have a tidy up because I'm in a bit of a mess since yesterday. So I'm going to get tidied up and then I've got to go take one of the parts back that I didn't need. And that's pretty much going to be the day over with, to be honest, because, yeah, short days. So that's the solar hooked up, really pleased. And I can start getting some power into these batteries. Put them there so I can add plenty more if needs be. I probably need to get another two. So, yeah. That's um, that's the solar done, so I'll probably give you a little update at the end of the day, see how much current we've picked up and got into them. But it's cool. I love to monitor things. I like meters and all that kind of stuff, and this is really cool. Well, the, uh, we didn't really get too much sunlight, so uh, after the full day, I had to charge the batteries a bit with the generator. So after a full day of charging, we got 0.14 of a kilowatt hour. So, yeah, not so good, but like I say, it's literally a pretty cloudy day, so not so good. But anyway, it's pretty cool, this meter, you can see everything. It's, it's dark outside now, so not much to see, but it works anyway, it's all working good. And, yeah, so uh, hopefully get a sunny day and see if it can see what sort of power I can get out of it. It's two 250 watt solar panels, so, you know, theory should be able to get about 400 watts in really direct sun because of the losses in the cable or whatever so possibly should be able to get 400 watts out of it on a nice sunny day I've got everything a bit tidier that's the actual charge controller itself that I've installed it's a, it's a cheap one, it's an MPPT charge controller but it's, um, it's a cheap thing off eBay, well not cheap, it was about 100 quid, but that's about 300 quid cheaper than the than the expensive ones, and I'm really happy with it, it seems to work really well, and yeah, that just charges these two batteries at 24 volts, um, 
they are 100 amp hour each so they're in series so it's 24 volts at 100 amp hours so it's not a lot of battery storage so hopefully get a few more in the future and I've just got a charger there to run off the generator at the moment until I get everything you know figured out how much I need and you know all that other stuff so yeah, I'm just uh, relaxing. I'm actually just editing uh, this video that you'll watch now on the computer. Just literally just doing it now, editing it. I've got the fire going. It's really nice in here. This fire going. Yeah, really nice, and it's lovely and warm. This wasp was just flying in here. So yeah, so I'm just going to finish editing that and uh, tomorrow I'm going to work around doing the uh, these, uh, trims around the windows.